The toolbar in the bottom right corner of the preview window allows you to control which adjustment or animation tools can be used using your mouse inside the preview window. Each of these tools can be toggled on and off by clicking on them. The first tool is the selection tool. When this tool is enabled, you can select anything in the preview window. Turning this tool off can be useful if you have several layers that you're working with and you don't want to accidentally select a layer that you're not currently working on. The next tool is the position or pan tool. This allows you to click and drag any layer in the preview window to move it. The rotate tool appears as curved handles at each of the four corners of your layer, allowing you to rotate your image. The skew tool appears as lines on the side of your image, allowing you to skew your image vertically or horizontally. The tilt tool appears as curved arrows at the midpoints of your layers, allowing you to tilt your image vertically or horizontally. The center point tool is simply a visual representation of the center of your image, or the point at which your image is rotating or tilting around. This point can actually be moved away from the center of your image by changing the rotation center values. This is how you can rotate your image around a different anchor point other than the center of your image itself. The final tool is the motion path. This only applies when you have more than one keyframe set for position. If you have no keyframes for position set, you'll get a message saying that the selected layer doesn't have a motion path. As soon as you set a minimum of two keyframes for its position, that path it takes between those two keyframes becomes visible. More than two keyframes displays a more complicated path. As you can see, having all of these tools enabled at the same time can be a bit overwhelming. It is recommended that you only have the tools that you're currently working with on at a given time.